the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of me. Hey guys, people, it's China the Israelite, and today's video, we're uh, going over the third commandment. So, uh, let's begin. Exodus 20, verse 7. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Okay. And then, um, let's just get a second witness to that. Deuteronomy 5, verse 11. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord would not hold him guiltless to take his name in vain. So, how do you take the Lord's name in vain? Um, we're going to go over some uh, scriptures that show you how you do that. So, um, Leviticus 19.12. And you should not swear by my name falsely, neither shall thou profane the name of the God, thy God. I am the Lord. Okay, so swearing. Um, that is a big deal amongst us. Uh, when people say, I swear to G-O-D, I don't say that. When uh, people say, own G-O-D, that is a swear. You do not do that. Um uh, so let's read another witness to that. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Matthew 5, Again, ye have heard that it hath been said by them of old time, Thou shalt not forswear thyself, but shalt perform unto the Lord thine oaths. But I say unto you, Swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, neither by the earth, for it is his footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Neither shalt thou swear by thy head, because thou canst not make one, head, one hair white or black, but let your communication be yeah or yeah. Nay, yea, yeah or yea, yeah, nay or nay, for what whoso whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. There you go. Do not swear oaths. Let your yes be your yes and your no's be your no's. And we ain't touched on that commandment yet, but that's called lying when you say you're gonna do something and you're not and you're not doing it. Okay, so just let your yes be your yes and your no's be your no's. There's no reason to swear oaths. And actually, I want to touch on uh Jephthah in Judges 11. Please read that on your own time. Uh, he made an oath. You know, Jephthah was uh, a brother that um, he was kind of outcasted from the community because his mother was uh, a harlot, I believe. And uh, they didn't respect him. But it came a time when the Israelites needed some power and he was a mighty man, okay? They, they had gotten into a war and they needed him. So they came to him and of course he's like, okay, yeah, I'll do it. It's going to make y'all respect me. I get to be a leader. Yeah, I'll do it. But then he went to God and said, if you allow this victory for me, then uh, whoever comes out of my door, I don't know why he said this, then whoever comes out of my doors, I will offer them up to a burnt sacrifice. Now, I would have been mad, okay? But anyway, so he said this, and God delivered, you know, God gave him his victory, so he had to keep his in. And guess who came out his doors? His daughter, his only child. And even his daughter told him, you made a vow to the Lord, you got to keep it. So do not do that. There is no reason to do that. I mean, if you feel inclined to, that's your business, but you ain't got to do that, okay? So um, let's move on to Psalms 139, verse 20.
For they speak against thee wickedly, and thy enemies take thy name in vain. Speaking wickedly, you are taking the Lord's name in vain. Do not do it. And you know how a lot of people take the Lord's name in vain wickedly and don't even realize it? I'm saying God. But when you say God damn it, when they say God damn, how dare you? Anyway, are you saying a cuss word in front of God? There's so many artists I hear their music and, and they'll say like the F word before they say God. And I know God is just a title, but we know who you're talking about. You're disrespectful. Okay. Um, so another witness to that, Malachi 1.6. Malachi 1 6. A son honoreth his father, and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is my honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Said the Lord of hosts unto you, O priest that despise my name, and ye say, Wherein have we despised thy name? Oh, yeah, we're going to get on it. Because teaching, te not teaching sound doctrine is taking the name's Lord, or the Lord's name in vain. I'm sorry. Okay, so Matthew 15 9. This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and honored me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Okay. So uh, you see right there, uh, commandments of men is like telling your congregation, uh, you don't let Christmas go by without seeing your family and nowhere in this book is there Christmas. That's teaching doctrines of men. You cannot do that, okay? Um, and then you waste you wasting everybody's time. They came here to learn the truth. They learn trying to hear God's word, and you just prosperity teachings. What you want to say? Um, that's teaching the doctrines of men. Okay, so uh, where are we at? Proverbs thirty eight nine. And I hope you guys like how I'm doing it. I feel like um, you guys can follow along a little better with this. Um, and I think it's better, it's easier for you guys to learn too if you follow along with chapters and just read it with me. So, uh, Proverbs 30, 30, verse 8 through 9. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Lest I be full and deny thee, and say, Who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal, and take the name of my God in vain. So right there, uh, you can see how your actions can be you taking the name Lord in vain. You cannot say you out here representing God, and then you out here breaking commandments. You are, well, we ain't even touched on that commandment yet, but you a liar. You cannot do that, okay? Um, so let's get some more examples Colossians 3 8 but now ye also put off all these anger wrath malice blasphemy filthy communications out of your mouth okay so uh that goes that touches on what i was talking about with saying uh cuss words before you say God's name, like God damn it. I'm saying God, not God. God damn it. Or uh any you know, just any cuss word before the uh the title. It's just disrespectful. Okay, and then another example, Ezekiel twenty thirty nine. Uh, 
39. And I, oh, and as for you, O house of Israel, thus said the Lord God, go ye, serve ye every one his idols. And hereafter also, if ye will not hearken unto me, but pollute ye my holy name, no more with your gifts and with your idols. So, uh, we just went over that. That's graven images. Like, when people are walking around with crosses on and they're saying they represent Jesus or represent God, he told you not to do that. So you ain't representing him, okay? That's taking the Lord's name in vain. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope this was edifying for you guys. And uh, keep reading scriptures. Keep following commandments. And remember, Israel, Israel.